हेलो डे स्टूडेंट आम नजमुद साहेब लेक्चर ऑफ बिजनेस स्टडीज विश्वमन ऑफ यू कॉलेज चित्रदुर्गा सो डे स्टूडेंट सो फॉर वी हैव डिस्कस द डिफरेंट फंक्शंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट लाइक प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग डायरेक्टिंग स्टाफिंग एंड सो ऑन ओके वी हैव डिस्कस इन लास्ट वीडियोस एंड टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन वन मोर न्यू कांसेप्ट ऑफ योर सिलेबस कॉल्ड कंट्रोलिंग दिस इज वन मोर चैप्टर ऑफ योर सिलेबस कॉल्ड कंट्रोलिंग so from this chapter you will get around 7 marks okay 7 to 8 marks you will get from this chapter okay so so far we have discussed the different function okay as you know that management is a integrated process of planning controlling staffing directing communicating and controlling okay so in case of planning the manager is a going to set the objectives the targets the goals which they have to be achieved in coming days okay in planning function we clearly know about the objectives or the targets that we want to achieve in a coming days in case of planning function and another one is a organizing function so organizing function is a tool in the hands of management for achieving the predetermined objectives whatever the objectives you have set in a planning with the help of or through the organizing function you are going to achieve those predetermined plans or predetermined targets or the goals okay so that is why the organizing function is considered as a tool in the hands of a management in order to achieve the objectives of the organization okay with the help of, of organizing the manager or the management is going to make effective and efficient utilization of resources in the organization in order to achieve the predetermined management therefore here comes there is a need for looking back okay going back whether the whatever the planned activities whatever the plans we have make okay we have prepared that have been implemented correctly or not in order to check that in in the language of management we call it as a controlling okay we call it is as a controlling okay in order to look back whether whatever the planned activity you have implemented that is you have correctly implemented or not in order to check that in case of management in case of organizing organization context we use the word called controlling so a lion after walking certain distance he will look back okay he will turn back to introspect itself to check itself whether he is safe or anybody is uh, following him okay in order to check that he is going to be he is going to look back okay likewise in order to check the successful performance of our successful execution of any plans and programs there is a need for controlling there is a need for evaluation in order to check the failure or the success of the any activity in the organization okay without the evaluation without the controlling the success is a miracle that is why organizing uh, controlling is very essential in order to know whether you are moving in a right track or not in order to check the correct path you need controlling you need evaluation okay so as you know that controlling is a very important function of a management management in order to see the planned result so it is very important function of a management that a manager in all the level they are going to perform the controlling function so it is very essential it is very vital to seek to get the planned result from the subordinate a manager need to exercise controlling effective controlling system in order to take the activities in order to get the things done by the subordinate okay this controlling function ensures ensures that activities in the organization are being performed okay whatever the task which has been assigned that are uh, that are performed by the subordinates in a as per the plan okay in accordance with the plan they are performing the activities and this controlling will also ensure that organizing resources okay whatever the organization resources are there that are being utilized in a effective and efficient manner are in a optimum way they are making use of those resources in the organization for achieving the organization goals in order to achieve the organization objectives in order to achieve the targets of the organization 
it also ensure that there will be a optimum utilization of resources in the organization so whatever you have planned whether you are achieving you are according to the plan or not in order to check those things this controlling system is being used by the management being exercised by the organizing sorry management in a organization okay to check whether they are in a right track or not and in order to take a corrective measures if they are deviated from the plans if they are deviated if they are if they are moving in a right wrong direction so this controlling system make them to move in a right direction so now let us discuss what exactly the meaning of controlling and the definition which is given by the eminent thinker okay management thinkers so controlling means ensuring that activities in an organization are performed as per plan so the basic meaning of this controlling the performance of this function is to ensure that to ensure that whatever the activities whatever the task that the management has assigned to the subordinates that in a organization they are performing or not as per the plan as per the plan as per the guidelines whether they are performing or whether they are carrying out the activities or not in order to evaluate that in order to check that the controlling function is being exercised by the management okay so controlling means ensuring that activities in an organization are performed as per the plan okay whatever the task you have assigned those tasks and those activities those work are being performed in a right direction or uh, in a correct manner that we have stated in the plan or not okay whether to check the direction right direction or right path the controlling function is being exercised by the management at all the level okay in all the levels in the organization that is what controlling in simple so coming to the definition given by the coons odonil coons and odonil they have defined the controlling as managerial control implies the measurement of accomplishment against the standard and the correction of deviation to assure attainment of objective according to the plans according to him the controlling a managerial control is nothing but it implies the measurement of accomplishment so what he is saying the measurement of evaluation of the performance okay measurement of accomplishment again is to the standard how much that is what current performance of an individual okay the present performance the present result of an individual that is going to be evaluated that is going to be checked okay the measurement of accomplishment again is to the standards so you are checking again is the predetermined plans or predetermined standards and the correction of deviation if there is any errors if there is any variation those errors or those deviations those variations are going to be corrected okay that going to be evaluated and corrected correction is being made if there is any variation if there is any wrong doing okay okay to assure the attainment of objective and it also assures it gives guarantee of attainment of a objectives according to the plans whatever the targets whatever the goals you have set in your plan okay that you have predetermined predetermined in a planning functions so those objectives are also to be attained okay that is what the, the detail meaning of a controlling so what the controlling is the controlling is nothing but measurement of accomplishment that your current performance your present performance is going to be evaluated comparison with comparison with the standards with compared to the your predetermined objectives or predetermined standards okay take for example okay in your plan the target what you have set it is 100 units you have to be produced okay that is your standard okay standard production of 100 units but your actual performance is that is what measurement of accomplishment is how much you have produced okay in a week 
you have to produce 100 units that is what the standards that is what the target have set in your class okay but actually the subordinates has been produced only 90 units okay in a week in a week he only he has only produced 90 units the difference is called 10 unit what is difference you will get that is what the deviation okay you are going to measure the actual performance with the standard performance that is what measurement of accomplishment against the standard against the standard you are making comparison you are making a comparison and the correction of deviation what is the deviation here differences of 10 units ok 10 units you have produced less ok the differences correction of deviation why you are why you have produced less Okay, you are going to check what causes to produce less. Okay, okay, you are going to analyze the problem and causes of the problem, and and uh, you are going to uh, uh, you are going to bring up new plans and you are going to bring up corrections in that deviation in that variation and ensures that ensures that the attainment of the objective by correcting the deviation you ensure that the objectives whatever the objectives you have planned that is producing of 100 units in a week whatever you have planned that objectives are going to be achieved that is what uh, controlling okay so controlling is what checking checking the current performance of an individual against the standard in a plans okay with a view to why we are going to make evaluation why we are going to controlling exercising and controlling function means with a view to ensure that with a view to ensure the adequate progress in the activities progress in a performance as well as a satisfactory performance of an individual in order to know the satisfactory performance of an individual this function is being uh, exercise by the management that is what the meaning and definition of uh, controlling so let us understand uh, let us see the nature of or uh, the characteristics or the features of a uh, controlling the first and foremost uh, nature or feature of control is uh, controlling is a goal oriented process it is a goal oriented process as you see in the meaning itself that uh, it is uh, it is a process or it means ensuring that all the activities in the organizations are performed as per the plan as we seen in the meaning and we have seen in a introduction class itself that the main purpose of controlling is to know that the achievements of the organization the controlling function is exercised by the manager in order to look in order to check whether the activities is in accordance with the plans or in accordance with the predetermined objectives or not in order to check that this control function is being performed okay so hence it is considered as a goal oriented process so the uh, uh, this uh, controlling functions uh, make ensures that it ensures that the resources whatever the resources have in the organizations that are used in an effective and efficient manner in order to achieve the objectives of the organization that is why it is called as a goal oriented process in one aspect in another aspect we can say it is a goal oriented process because this controlling system or the controlling functions of a management will bring out or it will measure the performance of the organization as well as it measures the performance of an individual how far the particular individual have achieved the goal a particular individual has accomplished the target which we have set which we have already uh, predetermined or how much how, what percentage of uh, uh, performance of an individual is made with comparison with the standards okay it will measures or it will evaluate the performance of an individual and also it brings into the light the deviations the causes of uh, not meeting the targets okay what is the problem of why we are not going to achieve this particular target okay it will also analyze it will also study in depth about the problems or the causes of the problems it is going to be studied 
and even it will suggest some valuable uh, correction or it will suggest some valuable things okay that we have to be adopted in order to correct your deviation and apart from that it will also directs the organization and it keeps into the right paths to the organization in order to achieve the objectives of the organization so these are all things is done by the controlling system okay so that is why it is called as a goal oriented process so controlling controlling is considered as a goal oriented process because it ensures that the uh, the resources of the organizations are used in a optimum manner it is used in a effective and efficient manner in order to achieve the objectives of the organization and apart from that it is also ensures that or it also measures or evaluate the performance of the individual as well as the performance of the organization by measuring it will bring out it will bring out the deviation it will uh, bring out the variations okay it will make a comparison between the perf uh, actual performance or current performance and with the standard predetermined object it will make a comparison if there is any differences for that it is going to be give some valuable corrections okay and even it will direct the organization towards the achievements of the predetermined objective towards the achievements or accomplishment of the objective thus the controlling is called as a goal oriented process clear the next feature of controlling is controlling is a pervasive function so when the word pervasive comes you automatically you have to remember that okay pervasive is nothing but application application uh, what universal application so this controlling function is a applicable okay applicable universal applicable okay it is applicable in almost all the levels of the organization it is not only applicable in a business organization but also it is used or it is applicable applicable in different uh, different other field as well like an uh, educational institution like clubs okay like military the different uh, organization or institutions are being used this particular function okay it is not only used in a business business okay uh, but also it is used in a different other areas okay so controlling is a pervasive function in the sense in organizational context the controlling function is performed in all the levels of the management it is a top level management middle level management as well as lower level management this particular function is being performed or being exercised in all the levels of the management okay the top level managements are concerned with okay the top level managements are concerned with the administrative control or administrative work uh, through broad policies broad planning and programs with the help of their broad policies programs and plans they are going to control or they are going to uh, assist they are going to direct or guide the administrative work that is perform that is concerned by the top level managers okay top level management coming to the middle level manager the controlling function is being exercised by the uh, middle level managers they are concerned with the execution of the plans execution of their programs and policies okay they are this particular middle level managers are concerned with the execution execution of the whatever the policies they prepared that all they are going to be executed that is what middle level managers are concerned and the lower level managers like supervisor he is concerned with the operational activities of the organization okay he is going to exercise the control uh, control control system in order to ensure that the activities are being performed in their level okay so the supervisor is going to exercise the controlling function okay that is what uh, that is what pervasive function so it is not only applicable to the business area but it is also applicable but it is also used in other fields as well like education institution okay ngos hospitals military clubs etc this all in all the field the controlling function is being used but in an organization all the levels of managers are going to be used this particular function right next is continuous function of course Uh, the controlling function is a continuous process or continuous functions okay 
until and unless you did not uh, until and unless you have not achieved your target this particular function is uh, continuous okay take for example i have given you the standard that you have to produce 100 units okay 100 units is the target okay your target your goal but actually your production is uh, 90 units you have produced but the difference is 10 so here the control is, is used it is wrong uh, here you have made the comparison between the standards and the actual performance and you have find out the deviation. Okay, now you have to suggest the corrective action and you have to analyze the causes for the problem. Okay, likewise again after correction, after, uh, after evaluating the performance you are going to suggest some new way, new things, new methods that you have to be performed. Likewise this continuous process is continuous, controlling process is continuous until and unless you performed your objective until and unless you achieved your targeted or your goal okay that is why it is a continuous function next is a, it is a dynamic process okay controlling is considered as a dynamic process it is not a rigid but instead it is going to be flexible it is going to adopt the changes okay Con controlling is required to adopt the changes whatever happening in the organization or whatever taking place in the environment and require um, and so consequently it has to adopt the new changes new methods new techniques have to be adopted in the process of uh, in the process of controlling that is why it is called as a dynamic process it is not a rigid system but instead it is going to adopt the changes it is going to be adopt the changes it will take a new methods uh, new methods okay new uh, new tools and techniques that has to be adopted whenever possible okay it is required to taking the reviews methods okay that has to be made whenever it is possible okay that is what it is a dynamic process next is controlling is a both backward looking and forward looking okay it is very important again controlling is a both backward looking backward looking and forward looking now let us discuss first it is a forward looking okay it is a forward looking as per the plan okay the the planning and the controlling we will discuss in detail about this particular point in later section okay so up, now as per the plan the plan is a base for the controlling right without a predetermined standard without objective the controlling has uh, no meaning okay plan is a base it is a foundation for controlling okay so according to the planning the meaning itself says that planning we are going to done for the future course of action okay for the future course of action we are going to make a plan in that sense it is called as a forward looking okay it is called as a forward looking and controlling is a uh, controlling is a backward looking because it is a post mortem of the activities that we have performed in a past whatever we have already performed about that you are detailedly studying okay i have produced uh, 90 units i have already produced okay and now I am exercising this controlling function in order to make a comparison between two 100 units standard that is your plan okay it is you have forecasted you have you have anticipated that there is a need of 100 units in this month okay you are going to produce you have set the target of producing 100 units of products okay that is called planning forward looking anticipation about the future that is what based upon the plan you are going to make a controlling you are going to make use of this controlling function what that is what 90 percent or 90 units i have produced now that i already have produced okay now you are making comparison now you are exercising control function by making the comparison with the actual performance that is current performance and your standard performance that is what the post mortem detailed investigation of the performance of an individual which he has already performed okay by investigating this controlling is said as a backward looking okay you are going to check the you are going to study about the past activities okay and and whatever the corrective deviation you will find for that you are going to suggest the corrective measures that is why it is called as a backward looking controlling is called as a backward looking and the planning is called as a forward looking 
but planning is a base it is a foundation for the control without the planning there is a no meaning for controlling controlling has got no meaning without planning okay both are interrelated and interdependent on each other that is what controlling is a both backward and forward looking and the next one is a positive process controlling is a consider as a positive process okay one should not view this is a last function of management and one should not think that it is a negative process why because we are going to make it uh, comparison when comparison will happen one is going to be appreciated another one is going to be going to be punished okay you should not think in that sense okay so instead you have to think in a positive way the controlling is considered as a positive process okay it makes things to be happen that is what it is achievements of a goals achievements of the objective achievements of the targets within the stated constraint within the stated plans okay within the, by means of planned activities okay you are going to achieve your targets according to the plans according within the, within the framework you are going to things you are making the things to be happen in this in that sense it is a positive process okay and one should never view it as a negative process a hurdle or it is a problem in getting the objective to be own okay controlling is a managerial necessity it is a very required it is very essential for the management in order to evaluate the performance of a individual as well as organization okay it is necessary and it is a indispensable for the manager okay it should not view as a hindrances or obstacle for the management okay that is what the features are the nature of controlling the first one is management is a goal oriented process controlling is a pervasive function so goal oriented process means what here so this uh, our controlling ensures that the resources have been used in a optimum manner so that you can achieve the objective and even this will bring the problems okay it will this will bring the problems that the organization is facing and and consequently it gives the suggestions for or give the reviews okay and you can take a those measures okay next is controlling is a pervasive function it is not only applicable in the business field but it also used in a other areas as well like education institutions ngos clubs okay military in other areas also this function is being used and it is also uh, used by all the levels of the management top level management middle and lower level managements are going to make use of this function okay next is it a continuous function this controlling function is a continuous until and unless you have uh, you have achieved your targets you have accomplished or you have attained your objective okay that is why it is a continuous process it is a dynamic process so this control controlling requires uh, to take some changes in itself okay whenever it is required whenever it is required it has to change its method its techniques okay and adopt the changes in it in this system that is why it is called as a dynamic process controlling is a both backward and forward looking okay both planning and uh, planning and controlling are both are interrelated and interdependent when we see the planning planning is looking for uh, looking ahead okay we are going to make estimation and speaking about the future and up, up, and and we will set the targets accordingly we will set the targets that is why it is called as a forward looking whereas backward looking means what controlling is considered as a looking or measurement of the past performance okay you are going to measure the performance which you have already done okay which you have already done you are going to make a post mortem of the activity okay in that sense it is called as a backward okay backward looking next is what positive process so controlling is should uh, never view as it is a negative thing okay it is a hurdle to achieve your objective it is a problem in order to achieve your objective but instead it has to be think in a positive way it is necessary for the organization it is necessary for the management in order to uh, in order to get the things done within the constraint within the framework or within the planned activity that is it is called as a positive performance right so the students these are the assignment questions first is define managerial control you have to define the meaning uh, meaning or 
डेफिनेशन यहाँ पे गिव किया डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैनेजरियल कंट्रोल और कंट्रोल नेक्स्ट इज एक्सप्लेन द नेचर ऑफ कंट्रोलिंग यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन द फ्यूचर और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ नेचर जस्ट नाउ जस्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू नाउ ओके लास्ट वन इज वाई कंट्रोलिंग इज कॉल्ड एज ए बैकवर्ड लुकिंग लिटिल बिट इट इज अ इट इज अ लिटिल बिट कंफ्यूजिंग क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू आंसर दिस कॉल्ड एज ए बैकवर्ड लुकिंग वाई कंट्रोलिंग इज कंसिडर्ड एज ए बैकवर्ड लुकिंग ओके दैट वी हैव टू आंसर थैंक यू